Welcome back once again, and thank you for your support in this channel. Today, we're going to be talking about linear equations, part seven. All right. And here we're going to keep everything simple and effective in solving these problems. Without further delay, let us begin. So we have the problem here. Negative two is equal to negative six T minus parentheses negative 10. Wow, what a mouthful, right? But let's let's take it step at a time. We're looking for t. We don't know what t is. That's the unknown. So the thing we need to do here is to break things down to pieces. So one thing I, I will recommend that we do first is we take this attraction sign and this negative sign and we distribute it. So it will look like this. We will distribute that so we can have a different sign. It will be negative 2 is equal to negative 6t. You distribute this, think of it as if it's a one there, distribute that and it'll be positive 10 plus 10, just like that. After you do that, what's next? We want this t alone. So we need to move this 10 to the other side. And the best way to do that is to do the opposite operation, which is subtraction. And we need to subtract 10 on both sides twice, right? Here, I'm going to use the keep change flip technique. And I just want to clarify that the keep change flip technique is good for um, integers when you're subtracting integers, especially when an integer has a negative number. So example, you have, you have negative 2 minus 10, right? So especially, so what would I do? I'll keep the negative 2. I'll change this to addition, but I'll flip this sign to negative 10. So that will make it negative 2 plus negative 10 is negative 12. All right, so that's what we have here. Negative 12 is equal to negative 6t. All right, so that's how keep change flip works. It works when you're subtracting. When you see a subtraction sign between two integers that have different signs, you apply the keep change flip rule. All right. You can also use it for different. You can use it for also other integers that you're subtracting as well. Okay. So now you have negative 12 equals to negative 60. So next thing I need to do, I need to divide the negative six on both sides. Okay. So I can leave the T alone. So I got T here is equal to negative 12 divided by negative six. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So it's just simply 12 divided by 6 is just simply 2 and a positive 2. Okay. So t is equal to positive 2. Right. That is the answer, guys. And that's how you do it step by step. All right. Stay tuned for our final video, Linear Equations Part 8. You don't want to miss this one. It's going to be epic. Take care.